Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 20 of Shadow Home. So today, well, I don't know what we're going to experience besides a couple of crushed muscle shells, a drying magma cavern, and a couple of other things, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be entertaining. So in the previous episodes, the Mountain Home to Be has had a really, really good progress towards the down the road. Let's see how the apartment situation went. All right, all of the apartments that I dug out in the previous episode have, ha, have now inhabitants. That's pretty massive, I like that. But on the other hand, it also forces my hand to dig out more apartments yet again. But it is fine, I guess. We're going to do this then. And, oh yeah, I also wanted to see if we finally have written uh, contents here. Shadow Home in the Age of Myth. It concerns the fortress Shadow Home. The writing is as vicious as it can be. Silverall, not awful, but not very good either. <laughs> as vicious as it can be. Interesting. That's the last thing that I uh, would, have ex would have had expected from a uh, annotated chronicles or something like that. A vicious chronicle. Fine. Guess somebody didn't like his stay here too much. Okay, I really hope that these will then finally be the last couple of uh, home blocks that we're building. Yeah, yeah. You guys give your weapons names. Sure, sure. Okay. What a flock of legendaries, mine, legendary miners can get done in such a low amount of time never stops to impress me. Like, seriously, we, uh... We basically just ordered that. All right, good. So, ah, just like I have uh, hoped for, the work here is uh, going along quite nicely as well. It's about darn time that we get deeper. We need that adamantine. This was supposed to be an adamantine mine. So we need to channel that stuff out at some point. But I mean, the good part is we have now so much room up here that I really don't worry about building uh, or, or pumping that stuff away anymore. Not at all. So with some luck, I will be able to finally get some more work on the castle itself done today. I really hope so. Parts of the uh, of the fort really go forward in a glacial pace. Parts do go forward extremely fast. It's very irregular somehow. But at least we can now pour buckets on this pit. Hope that this uh, thing here will dry out soon so I can finally see whether or not we have a pickaxe, uh, no, the other episode there was a pickaxe below, but uh, that was obviously really a graphical bug. I was already surprised, usually you cannot see what's below. Alrighty, brilliant. No real enemies. It is uh, quite wild how low the amount of uh, evil entities uh, in this run seems to be down here. I mean, in all seriousness, I uh, I expected them baddies a lot earlier, but nothing came. Like, nothing. Alright, so let's uh, rip out the glass blocks and set some new. It's quite a relief to me that we finally have a few more um, glass blocks available. A few years of import did that.
There we go. Let's see if this is also as safe as the rest of that part was. Quite unusual. Like, we're uh, about to clear the second level of this entire thing, and there still hasn't been a single monster. This is, to me personally, a, a new record, honestly. Can't remember when I had such tame underground ever. Like, seriously, ever. But, well, let's not be happy too early. This place will surely come back to uh, to show me its fangs and teeth. All right, here we have a a, a, a mini uh, a miniature magma cavity there. Hmm. Guy. So how's work outside there? All right. Oof. So let's see. Is there any impasse in the church logistics? Nah. It's just the work orders. So this sometimes happens when you uh, don't open up enough uh, work slots. So let's make that 30. As you see here, Chert is uh, truly available. It's not as uh, as it would be any uh, inavailability issue here. Nah, not at all. Okay, so... Shale stairs. Yeah, but it's noticeable that uh, all these uh, nude stone types have their uh, have their own issues in, in in being supplied. Let's draw this down like that. Very happy though to see how the tower comes up. Obviously, it's all naked for now, but uh, well. Oh boy, there's still this guy's ha hauling the muscle shells. Jeez. It's uh, really, really nasty. Okay. Just, uh, change the settings in a way that they're going to carry the muscle shells to the crusher. I think it's been good that we stopped the fishing here. I think it really was. On the other hand, I just produced a bajillion of carrying jobs. But whatever. Somebody has to give those dwarfs some cardio. So, I want to get back downstairs. There we go. Sadly, that door hasn't been delivered yet. Ooh, look at here. Finally. Ooh! Pardon me. So there's uh, quite a lot of dangerous spots that we need to uh, take care of now. Why does that take so long? Crazy. Oh, I can cancel that pit thing there too. Rest of the magma will evaporate on its own. There we go. Filthy rich dwarfs. So, let's scry on this square. And one day in the far fetched future, this door might be delivered to. Maybe not. We'll see.
<laughs> Magnetite ore has been smeltered. We're, uh, I keep a little bit of a uh, weary eye on these. Because, after all, let's see how many magnetite boulders we have, have, we have left. After all, this is a finite resource and I keep uh, using iron like crazy, but yeah, I still have 400 magnetite boulders. Wow. That is more than I expected. Clear blue metal ball. Wow. Sounds badass. It's a, it's another lepe. After slaughtering a Cyclops last, last episode with the same for, uh, first name, this comes up. Okay. The game really wants me to look up how to pronounce that, huh? Challenge not accepted. <laughs> okay, so we don't know what's here. Yes, we do. So we can shave off that layer. Can also shave off that layer as we see that it's all solid behind that wall. Good. Nice. Here again, uh, this place is so friendly. <laughs> it's making me scared. <laughs> if we go on like that, we're going to uh, finish this entire level today. Seriously, I'm not. I was not prepared for this. Jokes aside, this is really good. Okay, how well... This courtyard here is a massive one. It doesn't look like much, but its length is quite high. And it shows. You really feel it by now. Okay. Oh, man. I love that uh, Miner's Guild. Can't lie. This one is a real nice, uh, nice one. More treasures, man. Flippin' lucky. The black metal spear. Insert wild black metal riff in your head now. It's not quite reflecting the music that's currently running, but uh, you get the idea. Look at all those gemstones! Oh my god! It's so pretty! Okay, well, we're, uh, we're, we're going to drill now. Sploosh, sploosh. So we can now safely extract. The, the big advantage here is that there's also an upward slope now, which means if ever anybody gets uh, carried away by the currents, <laughs> he's going to be able to crawl back up again. Like that. So, I think it is safe to rip out all those here. And I'll keep that one for the time being, so we know that there's still a magma deposit there. But I think, let's begin to pump. Oh, I can extract a little bit of boulder here. Then we need to re-glass this whole place yet again, but uh, one thing at a time. Well, well. So when this uh, pumping job has happened, we uh, have uh, pretty nice access to this entire place here. So I'm starting to order some mining already. Because... It, it ain't dangerous here anymore. Yeah, the, the pumping dwarf uh, gets sucked downstairs quite often because they just love the water ride, I guess, but, well, whatever. After we've done this a couple of times, the whole place downstairs will be finally free. There's already uh, pretty much 50% of the water gone. Somebody else will take the job and then we're getting uh, further. Okay, oh uh, well. I can't say that I'm happy with the progress of the courtyard, but I can't say I'm unhappy with it either. It's okay. It's okay progress, okay? But I'm... Uh... 
I don't know, I, I'm looking at this now since I don't know how many episodes. It's uh, feeling as if we're not getting forward at all. But that's a wrong feeling. Sometimes you have that, but it's bull. Okay, so there's only that thing here. And then we need to re-glass this whole thing. We are really fast today. So... Just following the line of the uh, unknown blocks here. These are the dangerous ones. Okay. So here we can actually take off some of the wall already too. And yeah, we can stop pumping now. Good job, Eurist. You done it. Let's dislodge that pump. We don't need it here anymore. Okay. Good stuff. The rest of that water down here will go eventually. So, there is a cavity. Let's start with that one. Blank spots are those where potentially the demons live at, so I want to get started with those. Oh yeah, there's uh, many staging points exactly to where I want to go. Brilliant. Love it. Huh, this looks like a hollow spot too. Quite sure if I'm misperceiving it right now, but, uh, well, I'll be safe than sorry, right? Okay. So I think with the next few episodes I have to pick up my pacing again with the uh, beautification of the Ford, as in the last two episodes we've uh, been mostly mining. I mean, there's nothing wrong with mostly mining, but... Uh, there's still so much work to be done with the city itself. But while we're talking about that, why not make at least those new apartments happen that I've been talking about at the beginning of the episode? There we go. These are really large apartments. Probably some of the, the largest that I did so far. Great. So... That brings up a couple of bedrooms there. None claimed so far, but they always take a minute or two to claim them. A little bit concerned though that I don't see any further boulders being made anymore. Ah, uh, stone blocks. Okay, all the doors are set up. Let's see if we finally find some monsters. I mean, for some odd reason, I still haven't found any. There's a lot of magma behind these walls, so... We're gonna be opening up these then. And yeah, as it stands, it seems so I'm getting to close up this entire level today. Wow, nice. 
I mean, it depends on what's behind these walls here. I love it. Three people are opening the mystery boxes. So, something evil. A tortoise monster. Finally, our first demon. A treasure of the gods. Another demon. And another demon. So, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we got a jackpot here. All the stuff that we didn't find so far was behind those walls. So, let's see. This guy, mm, poison gas, should be doable. Scorching Banshee, I won't be touching these things ever again. They, uh, they, they decimated so many of my soldiers that other day. We're not going to take any risks with the Scorching Banshee ever again. But we're going to take our risk with the, uh, with this poison vapor, dude. So let's see. If the miner gets here too early, I'm going to uh, abort his uh, job. Nah, soldiers are around the corner already. So that's the point where you would be best off with uh, Mark Storfs, as ranged attackers can take care of these uh, fire dudes. There, uh, my soldiers are being bugged by the uh, scorching banshees. So let's make this like that. Yo, guys. Uh, okay. So it turns out I uh, I somehow managed to uh, remove my soldiers from this place. Somehow my FPS are now dying. Hard. That's odd. Usually this happens when there's uh, a lot of uh, baddies on the, uh, on, the, on the map. I'm somewhat afraid now that the uh, Scorching Banshees are trying to, to path to my soldiers now that they saw them. But no, it's it's actually my my station soldiers who are killing the FPS. <laughs> okay. At least that's something I can do something against. But we need them here on the floor, and we need to have a miner opening up that wall because we need to kill that thing. Okay, for whatever reason my FPS are dying so hard right now. Ah, it's okay. But what is, as a matter of fact, very, very annoying now is that we have uh, created two pockets of uh, you don't get to pass here ever. Because, like I said, Scorching Banshees are really, really bad news. The problem is that Theory enemies somewhat have this weird talent of being uh, untargetable by melee dwarfs. At some point they can attack them all of a sudden, but most of the time they just don't feel like doing so, basically. There we go. This guy though, no match. Let's see. The mount, the tortoise monster. So, the bite was deflected by the Greaves, and, uh, well... What you see here, this thing is hitting the fighter it's attacking. There's just deflections and such, and, uh, yeah, there's an injured dwarf at the end of this fight. So, yeah, this was, uh, this was a victory. But, uh, by no means an easy one. Okay. But at least I was able to open up the, the area here a little bit more. 
because we we will now have to work around these uh, demonic activities here, obviously. So, uh oh, looks like the uh, serpent people are now angry all of a sudden. Or friends for all the time, all of a sudden they turned into invaders. I don't get it, but that's uh, well, not the end of the world, not nearly as horrible as it sounds. I mean, I have an entire squadron of uh, of soldiers at the entry entrance of Warford. So, but yeah, as it stands right now, we're being attacked, and the uh, game is ignoring the sound settings yet again, gloriously as it loves to do. I have no clue why that is so, but uh, I have the 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 volume of this kind of attack is way lower in my configuration, but the game doesn't care. Sometimes that's the most fun part. So yeah. This is... some place where we hardly can reach? Ah, uh, here. Okay. So, well, I don't really want to send any of my folks or, uh, there just for the sake of fighting. Oh no. I would say Ustuth got killed by this, uh, by this demonic poison now, in the end, still. Ah, oh, poor fella. We're going to we're going to replace him with a uh, with a legend. There you have demons, you see, flipping demons. You can't kill a single one of them without having instant casualties. Because the, the person dying there, that was not the uh, cave dwellers. Not at all. They can barely do anything. But, uh, well. Seeing as it is, though, that there is no water in the vicinity. Yeah, we're going to do this. I was a little bit concerned whether or not there's uh, water to drown in for my folks. You know how dwarfs are. But no. So, to battle. You know, why not? Sending my dwarfs right in there. This shows me, though, that we definitely should wall off this area here eventually because it uh, would avoid uh, these annoying uh, attacks and all 46 invaders though if you can't hear the sound playing right now that's the volume that's it's supposed to be but I mean the music that you're hearing constantly in the background is also not the game's music anymore because the game's music booked out a year ago or so. Ever since then I was unable to get the game's basic music to run again, ever. I still have no clue what I would need to do, but uh, well, it is what it is. I've, I've started to play the uh, soundtracks in the background as you see it there. Okay, we uh, took control of the situation, I would dare say. And this is also reaching the end of today's episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Although I gotta say, this uh, demon bonanza down there was partially exactly what I expected. 
but uh, well, I was hoping for a few less uh, unkillable folks. That's the thing that bothered me the most, that I have so many of the unkillable kind down there. I mean, sure, it's only two, but uh, two on one floor? <laughs> Already quite bothersome. Anyways, let me know what you think. Let me... Uh, leave me a like, a subscribe, check out the description box, and uh, feel free to check out all the other fortresses that I played here on this map. I'd be very, very happy to have you. Also, there is a lot of supporty links down there, so if you want to support Icon Gaming financially, it would be really, really awesome of you. Many thanks to all of you who do support Icon Gaming directly, and many, many thanks to you for watching this video right here right now really appreciate having you and i hope you guys are coming on back for the next episode when we're getting closer to raw adamantine praise the miners see you dear man bye bye